Hi everyone, my name is Ryan Kinsbrunner and I welcome you again to my uh, second test flix test drive uh, session. And today I'm going to talk to you about advanced test automation abilities with Cypress framework. My name is Ryan Kinsbrunner. I'm an author and chief evangelist at Perfecto, which is a Perforce company, author of these three books, also available on social. So if you're not following me and you want to, feel free to do so and continue the conversation also after this session. A word about Cypress, because Cypress is uh, one of the most growing cross-browser uh, testing frameworks, end-to-end uh, -end testing frameworks, adopted by developers and also test automation engineers, but it's unique in the way it uh, is being used. It runs exactly on the browser compared to, you know, Selenium that uses WebDriver protocol uh, to send the different commands from the test frameworks to the uh, browser under test. So Selenium uses the WebDriver protocol, the Puppeteer and Playwright, which are headless browser testing and a bit more advanced than that, but they're using or built on top of the CDP, the Chrome Debugger Protocol. Cypress, because it's running on the browser, it's very fast, it's less flaky, more reliable, and has some very unique and advanced debugging abilities that are very, very uh, beneficial for developers. As you can see, the development uh, of Cypress uh, led to a massive adoption, which is phenomenal in my mind, because Selenium being in the market for almost two decades, uh, you know, uh, is almost on par with the number of downloads that we see over the past uh, months uh, compared to Cypress. Puppeteer and Playwright are also evolving. Playwright is slower. Puppeteer is definitely, uh, by Google, is definitely catching up, and it's almost on par with Selenium and Cypress. But these are, in my mind, the top solutions that are out there today to perform cross-browser testing. We know that Cypress is not fully running or supporting all the different browsers. It supports the majority of them. Uh, and I will talk a bit about the roadmap for Cypress at the end. Let's touch a bit. Uh, as I mentioned, Cypress is running in the browser, and it allows it to get access to the full DOM tree, all the element locators, and it allows it to run very, very fast with side-by-side -side debugging and visibility of what's happening in real time. But Cypress comes with a very nice list of advanced capabilities. I'm not going to list all of them. I just have eight minutes, so I'm going to focus on the few. Uh, so here I'm going to feature uh, something that my colleague and my friend uh, from Cypress, Gleb Bahamutov, uh, created, and that's the Stub Navigator API. Uh, it allows you to uh, if it's relevant for your use cases, it allows you to monitor the battery consumption and the battery level while you are running your Cypress JavaScript test automation scenarios. So check out the window navigator batteries. It's a very cool and advanced capabilities. The second one is the Cypress CY clock and intercept. It allows you, as you can see in this uh, nice GIF, to uh, stop the clock every three seconds and validate on the browser, on the, on the web application, what's being displayed as things are evolving. And that's a very powerful network control uh, and clock control that you can do on a web application. Uh, and it helps you for debugging, for visual testing, for functional validations, and much more. So these are two very powerful and advanced use cases of Cypress. You can read through these links more about how to use them and get some more code samples, but uh, uh, bookmark the Cypress clock and Cypress intercept. Next is the ability to use debugging uh, with the browser dev tools. Cypress supports the, the browser dev tools like the Chrome F12, for those of you who are familiar with, and it allows you to monitor network performance, memory, and many more uh, through these uh, dev tool APIs. So it, they are fully integrated in Cypress. Cypress can also perform API testing. So if you're uh, familiar with API testing, all the methods of force, get, request, uh, delete, all of these things can be uh, ex executed through Cypress. You can see here a short demo. There are also online tutorials on how to do it. I've uh, easily created in less than five minutes uh, an API test uh, with JavaScript uh, on this uh, sample web. Uh, web application. So API testing can complement the end-to-end -end functional testing with Cypress. And if it's interesting for you, uh, feel free to explore more on API testing with Cypress. As I mentioned, a huge community stands behind Cypress. And you can see that there is a huge amount of plugins that are already uh, out there and few of them that are still being developed. 
These are just a, a, a subset of the plugins that are available. To name a few, code coverage is a very popular one. Visual testing, accessibility testing with DQAXC framework is fully integrated with a plugin into Cypress. So you can actually complement functional API and also accessibility te testing with Cypress. And I mentioned API, and also you can do BDD with Cucumber and Cypress. Cypress, there is a plugin for that as well. You can also expand Cypress and run it in the cloud uh, in parallel across multiple browsers with Selenium. So you can do it by downloading an NPM package if you like. Uh, this is the NPM uh, store. It's a public uh, NPM package uh, from Perfecto. You can download it and run Cypress in the cloud in parallel and enjoy multiple frameworks if it's interesting for you. This is just uh, you know, the link to that, but you can scale up Cypress also in the cloud. What's coming next for Cypress? People are asking a lot, and I think you don't need to ask anymore. Just bookmark this URL, as you can see here on the right hand, doccypress.io. There is a roadmap page. This is a snapshot as of today of what's planned for Cypress. I think the biggest uh, items that we are looking at uh, that are coming are component testing. Obviously, Safari, which is not right now supported by Cypress, WebKit support with Safari is a work in progress. Maybe later uh, this year, we will see a complement uh, to the supported browsers by Cypress through Safari. And there are a few other things. I know that iPhone support is supported by Cypress, but in a very basic way. So there is work in progress to expand more on supporting this capability on uh, the web testing. So in this short uh, session, I gave you a taste of what Cypress is and how you can leverage advanced capabilities of Cypress. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, now is the time to ask them. Thank you so much.